Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. So in the last episode we tried to set up a tractor path but I failed uh, miserably. That's not your fault so I won't include you and us there. Uh, but we're going to try it again today. I have been doing some building. So we have our entrance point here. We're going to come in here and this thing is full of coal. We didn't actually set up that there is a refueling, but let's just uh, stick 100 in there. Because the, the refueling will be coming from up here. But uh, yeah, what we actually could do is stick a splitter on and for this one station. That might be an idea. We'll see. Okay, so we come in here. We drive down here and we go around but in order for these guys to come in over on the other side because they'll be coming in here right so I have built this elevated road that crosses over the other one and goes down this way and I expanded it so that we have room for our um, truck stations on this side as well so we have this road here that runs all the way down to the poison so i think that's gonna work i hope so so uh let's try this uh, tractor route again let's just fix up the uh this thing so that we get a splitter that yes Does that line up with that no it does not needs to move over one over there I think yeah I want that belt to come in there, which it won't do. Let's try one more time. We, we can. We don't need the Is that where we put it last time? I don't think so. No. Uh, the conveyor has an invalid shape because we moved it over one too far. Splitters can be so finicky. So like that, I guess. Yes. And like that. And like that uh, and I can live with that all right good which means that this will be filling up with coal to fuel our truck all right let's build the, tr the tractor again build it, uh, right. here perfect and it now has fuel. Let's drive it. Start recording. And go. And let's see if we get this to work this time. Actually, it worked fine before because it, it was running right. But uh, I just hadn't thought everything through. Let's put it that way. Go. I haven't finished up over here. You can see I haven't extended it, but uh, I will. And we want to go out into the world. And we'll come down here. And go. To 
from under the belt. Nice. And then we need to come up this way. And not hit the rocks, preferably. Not the big ones, anyway. And around this way. Alright. This seems to be going better. Or, not better, well. Seems to be going well. Alright. Here we go. And go home. This is going to work reasonably well. Come on this way. Under there, go around the poison here, and let's go up here. Come in and stop. And see, finish recording, write path notes. Enable auto private and exit the vehicle. Fantastic! Off he goes. I love it. And while he is going back and forth for a bit, we could go up top and have a look at what's going to happen up here. Because remember, this whole facility is going to be nothing but storage. Nothing but storage. But now that we have coal here, we will need coal in every single facility, right? Or every every single truck station. So is this uh, where we're getting coal? No, it's over here. Oh man, it's too high. It's one too high. Crap. Okay, we'll have to fix that. Uh, let's just can we fix it now. See those that is where I want it. And that is where I want it. Is it or is it one further in? That doesn't matter. Well actually it does. Uh, because we need to be able to get one in here on the other side as well. And we can. So that works. We're good. Alright. So. We're going to need coal storage. And a lot of it. And in a lot of places. So what I really would like to do is unlock the larger uh, containers, which we don't have yet, because I want to use those, right? And we're going to store a crap ton of coal. Because we're going to need to get coal from here as well for smelting. I guess. So, whoa, 
that was not exactly my intention, and now I have to run all the way. Okay. Never mind. Um, we have this tractor going. Let's worry about storage a little bit later. Let's just look what we need to get our um, larger storage containers done. I think we can unlock that milestone now. It's in tier 4. Yes, it is. We need quite a lot, so we're not going to do that right now. I'll do that in between episodes so that we get this stuff unlocked as well. Because I definitely want to use the larger uh, industrial containers. So, what we need to do now is actually go find out where do we want to do our smelting. Because our central storage hub is basically set up now, right? And we have the first tractor going uh, with um, what's it called? Coal. And that is all fine and dandy. So let's find out where we want to do our smelting. And this is going to be all the smelting. It's going to be every single smelting operation that we have is going to be done in one place. thinking this might be a nice place for it actually not that far away but I actually like the way this looks oh there's a power slug let's grab that And we could also... Hmm. Let's do a little, little bit of exploring here to find out where we want to put the, uh, the smelting area. Oh, we have here... Oh, we have one of these minis. Space. Okay, what can we get rid of? Get rid of... 393 leaves. Hmm. Okay. There, it doesn't look too bad either. Some ores over here. Let's have a look what, at what that is. Are there are protectors. Yes, there are. Where are you? There. We have impure iron ore. Impure isn't great, but there are four of them. which basically adds up to one pure. Well, that's something, I guess. And what do we have over here? So basically all smelting, but what does that mean? That means iron, copper, steel, catherium, I don't know if it means uh, sulfur and stuff. I have no idea if we need to smelt that. I'm guessing smelter, uh, sulfur it doesn't need to be smelted, but quartz might need to be smelted. Okay, so there's two more impure nodes, which adds up to a normal. So we have basically have a pure and a normal node right now. And then we have a node in here. And limestone. We will have a separate facility for making limestone or for making concrete. OK. 
Okay. But we want to make a, we want to make the base a little bit, the uh, base is a little bit interesting. I do. Don't know if you do, but I do. Uh, so I kind of like this valley in here. Really, really do. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it here. Yeah, that is gonna be it. So I am going to start building a smelting setup in here, and uh, then I'll be back in uh, a few seconds. Okay, so we are back, and uh, I have started building uh, this. Uh, side base here or ravine base as you might call it and it's we're going to have floor all the way right it's eight or nine uh, uh, foundations wide most places so hopefully we will be able to get trucks coming through we might be we might have to have two labels one or two levels for um uh, for trucks, one for loading, unloading, and one for uh, what's it called? Uh, for just pathing, th pa pathing through. So we'll probably be doing that. But while I was building this, I found this a cave. So I thought that before we cover that up uh, accidentally, let's uh, go have a look in here and see see what we find. And there's my my cilia down here, which uh, we actually also need. And so let's have a look in here and see what we can find in here. Uh, let's grab the mycelia. Because we do need that. I hope there are no spiders in here, but usually there are. We might, we might have to do something so we don't cover up this cave. So that would be a shame, right? I do want to see this, so let's just grab a bit. We're not going to grab all of it right now because we can come back for it later, right? If we don't, at least if we don't cover it up. Okay. Anything interesting around this way? No, not really. This is definitely new to me. I've not been in here before, I'm pretty sure. Unless in the last playthrough it's the cave that went all the way through somehow. Oh, there's a summer sloop. Let's grab that. Oh. It's ours. And let's continue up here see what we find. Okay. Oh, and we're out. On the other side. Ooh, very. Grab it. Grab that. We have here. Iron or impure. Oh, okay, we're over here. Where we have the two and the four iron ore nodes. So, or. But how did, how did we get over here? Oh, okay. Our base is down there. Okay, cool. But we're, we're, we're definitely not going to cover it up. Or actually, we could just cover it up on that side and go in on this side. Uh, let's see, uh, do we have our beacons on us? No, darn it. Okay. There were no... Uh, seemed like there were no... Uh, spiders in here. Which is always pleasant. I do not like spiders. 
in real life or in the game, actually. I am not particularly fond of spiders. And here we are, back at our base building area. So basically, uh, what we're doing is putting in foundations here, right? Oops. Let's give it a building look, at least. Oops. Heat leaves coming up through my floor. No business being there. Uh, so let's see. How much do we have? Plenty of concrete left. Do a few over here. Plenty and plenty, that, that's uh, plenty is probably a bit of a stretch because we're going to need more than we have. Uh, but we are producing quite a bit of it. So we can just go grab some more, I think. Oh, there's a little bit stuck there up and see how it looks okay and let's just count one two three four five six seven eight and a half so yeah I think I think we're going to have to gonna have to do it some other way because it, there's not enough space so what I am thinking is if I can get back up here ah come on there we go what if we don't build foundations down here and let the trucks and stuff drive on the dirt and then we suspend the base between the cliffs above them so they drive under and then we'll just have a ramp uh, on each side going up and down for the trucks to come in and come out I think that'll work We're gonna need a lot of truck stations. Maybe we should make separate facilities for smelting so that we just do this one as an iron smelting facility and then make a copper smelting facility elsewhere. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, hmm. So I am going to uh, get that set up and then I will see you in the next episode. So uh, thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and I'll see you next time.